Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abe Ahmed has declared the military's operation in the northern state of Tigray a success. In a televised address, Mr. Abe vowed to continue with the military offensive despite international calls for restraints. The federal authorities accused the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, which has held power in the state for close to three decades of launching multiple attacks on the military. The TPLF, in turn, said they couldn't ignore the imminent danger. On Wednesday, an army base was taken over by force loyal to the regional government of Tigray. The National Defence Force that has been in the bunkers for the past 20 plus years defending its people and the country by paying heavy sacrifices with its blood and flesh has been attacked this evening in Mikele and many other places by traitors and the force they organized. International calls for the de-escalation of tension seems to have been ignored. The federal government has already declared a six-month state of emergency in Tigray. The airspace has been closed. Officials in the federal capital, Addis Ababa, say the conflict is against a small group hell-bent on destabilizing the country. The TPLF has previously accused the federal government of plotting to invade Tigray. Tensions between the TPLF, once a dominant member of Ethiopia's ruling coalition and Mr. Abe's government, have been building for months. A regional election held in defiance of a decision at federal level to delay all posts is widely considered to be the reason for the rapid deterioration in relations.